time. I have the, the pleasure and the honour of uh, heading up the unit for public health policy support. Uh, that This unit is situated in the JRC Institute for Health and Consumer Protection and we're just two years old. There are three main pillars in the work we do. The first one is on health information. Basically we're addressing health information for cancer and rare diseases. In the cancer domain there are over 160 cancer registries. In the rare disease domain there are over 600 rare disease registries. These registries are lacking interoperability, harmonization, standardization. The experts and stakeholders in the area call it data symmetries. The data is dead. So now the data is coming to the GRC. We're going to harmonize the data and we will use it to trigger policies, to steer EU policies and provide an invaluable resource for epidemiological research. That's pillar number one. Pillar number two is health care. The biggest cancer killer among women is breast cancer. So we're going to roll out a voluntary accreditation scheme for breast cancer services, something that was never done before, where we'll map the patient pathway from screening and diagnosis all the way over to treatment, post-treatment, palliative care. We will cover that with an accreditation scheme, so the pathway will be accredited, ensuring that minimum standards throughout the whole pathway will be fulfilled and that at critical points along the way, the patient will receive multidisciplinary meetings, advice. That's really important. Last but not least, when it comes to health prevention and improving healthcare outcomes, we're working on nutrition, lifestyle, and behavior. There is a lot to be done. In the European Union, of all healthcare expenditure, only 3% goes to prevention. This is an area that we need to move into and we also need to expand because a lot of these diseases can be prevented. So we support EU policies by taking on board requests from Council conclusions, Parliament resolutions and also in the Lisbon Treaty. What's very important to note is that the Union itself does not have a legal mandate to impose health, public health issues on the Member States. So that makes it a bit loose but yet they recognise that an awful lot has to be done. Perhaps if and when our work goes well it may lead to legislation where applicable, where EU added value is guaranteed.